Okay, so I'm back and just got out of Age of Extinction. Wanted to uh, give you guys a review on that. And uh, let's do the short version of this real quick here. I fucking hated it. I give it a zero. <laughs> so bad. Um, I, I, I just, it's very hard to put into words just how much was wrong with this movie. Um, both from a Transformers fan and a fan of movies in general. Um, I mean, I, I love movies. I, I love movies. I, I do. And and I love Transformers. You guys know that. So I can't really go into much more detail without giving things away. So from this point on, spoiler warning. Because, yeah, that you've already got my rating <laughs> you got it so if you guys uh, have any interest in seeing the movie without it being spoiled for you I would say stop watching now but uh, if you guys have already seen it um, or you don't care about spoilers or whatever keep watching so humans are hunting Autobots and Decepticons okay kind of figured that from the previews uh, humans are teamed up with Lockdown. Okay. Um, doesn't make sense to me, but okay. Um, because the entire plot of the humans hunting down the Transformers was because the main bad guy, Kelsey Grammer's character, who did a good job, um, they hated the Transformers. They wanted to see them die. They wanted them gone. So why team up with one? Why not team up with the Autobots and keep what you had going, going, and finish killing off the Decepticons? <sighs> okay. <sighs> there, there were just so many things in this movie that were just like, uh, the plot was scrambled. Um, basically, it was like three different plots. You got the uh, humans working with Lockdown. Um, Lockdown hunting down Optimus. That would have made a good movie. It would have been fun to watch. You know, it wouldn't be large scale. It would have been small scale. You know, Lockdown taking out Autobots one by one to get to the main goal. Optimus. Then you have the plot of the Dinobots um, coming into it. Okay. Then you have the plot of the humans making the Transformers, which turn evil, with um, Megatron being wor reworked into Galvatron. Again, could have made a great plot. Throw all three of these together and. You just get a mess. I mean, that's all this movie was. It was just a fucking mess. Absolutely dreadful. Um, I, I now just let me let me make one thing clear. I'm not a G one'er. I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, if it's not G one, I don't like it. You guys know me. I do enjoy Transformers in all its glory. I'm also not a hater of the Michael Bay Transformer films. I like, I really liked the first three. Um, first one was good. Second one was better. Third one I thought was amazing. Um, but this one, just so bad. I mean, just just so bad. I'm, I'm. I feel like part of my childhood died tonight when I was watching this movie. That's the best way to describe it. I haven't been this disappointed in something since, let's see, since Fans Project finished releasing their Minasaur. 
or when Metallica released Saint Anger. Um, uh, or the third X-Men, or the third Matrix. And on, and on, and on. Just... It, yeah. So the Dinobots were in the movie. <clears throat> Get that out of the way here real quick. They didn't need to be. There was no purpose to them, really. So... They didn't say one word. Just kind of snarled at the screen. That was it. Galvatron was in the movie. He was pointless. Utterly pointless. Um, the human created Transformers that were like we were able to reform themselves as they were going. But they didn't carry that plot out throughout the whole movie because at the beginning, you know, first time you see them, they're really hard to fight. And they kept like reforming and regenerating essentially but in this one or near the end they're dying left and right no problems so that didn't make sense to me it didn't make sense at all um the few things he got right was um i mean i did enjoy hound um i thought he was a great character um Although it should have been called Bulkhead, and I think a lot of people would have agreed with me on that one. Bulkhead. That, that was Bulkhead, not Hound. Um, that was good. Um, Autobots seemed a little bit more well rounded and actually had more lines, and you get a feeling for the characters a little bit more. So, that was good. That was it. I mean, yeah, they replaced Michael Bay. Or, not Michael Bay, um,. Shia LaBeouf. That was a good move. Replaced with Mark and Mark. Again, good move. Everything else about this movie, though. <sighs> like I said, I mean, if they would have split it up into two movies, it would have been better. The, or three movies, even. It, that would be really good. But they didn't. They just jumbled all these different plot points into one movie and made you think, oh... This is one movie, and that's not even including the human characters. I mean, that, just horribly disappointed in the movie. Um, just very little, if any, saving grace to this thing. It it, it was bad. I don't recommend watching it. Um, I I will buy it on DVD just because I'm. I have the collection going, so I'm going to keep going with it, but that's that's about the extent of it. I mean, this movie was that bad. It's... And and the way they ended the movie makes it it's like okay now we're gonna hang in a movie with Galvatron in it and and then Optimus flies off which I don't understand but he flies off going after his creators the Quintessons I, I'm assuming Quintessons although it's Michael Bay so it's probably Ninja Turtles um, who knows <laughs> um, but Optimus flies off I don't, I don't understand that because yes he flew on the, at the end of the second one but that was because Jetfire gave his life and gave him all the flight gear. Yes, he flew in the third movie. Again, because he had flight gear. He flies in this movie just because he can. Don't understand it at all, but... Whatever. Um... This is... Easily the worst movie I've seen all year. Easily. Um... Uh, I'm a huge fan of Jeremy Johns, and he gave this rating dog shit. I would, and it's an insult to dog shit, to be honest. It, it really is. It's just no. I mean, no. And that's my opinion of the movie. So if you guys have seen it, what did you think? Um, 
did you enjoy it? Did, was, was there something in there that you would liked? Because there was really nothing in there that I enjoyed. I mean, like I said, I enjoyed watching Hound. And I enjoyed the fact that we get a little bit more well-rounded characters in this. In Autopot-wise. Um, uh, I did enjoy those two things. And not having to put up, put up with Shia LaBeouf screaming all movie that was that was also pretty pretty nifty but that's not really saying a whole lot <laughs> I mean it's not and so Optimus has a hard time finding these fake robots that the humans make he has a hard time fighting Lockdown Lockdown took down the Dinobots President that's where you get them gets them from it's from Lockdown ship um, Optimus takes Grimlock down with one punch. So, I'm trying to figure out the concept of why they would be so beneficial in this fight. <laughs> know what I mean? I mean, it's like, why would they help if they're so weak and everyone else can take them down? so quickly and easily and yet they're tearing through everything I, logic there is none in this movie there there is none I mean there's a scene when Optimus is driving down the road and Galvatron shoots at him and you see him rolling down the road and all the humans fall out um, and the two humans fall into the grass which would hurt like hell I mean, you'd be lucky not to break something. Okay. But the girl falls into the pavement, and you see her rolling down the pavement at full speed with Optimus rolling around her. She should be ground beef. There shouldn't be anything left of her. But she's fine. She gets up, walking around. She's, she's fine. There's a scene when... Uh, Bumblebee grabs all the humans and he crashes into a building and, and they're all fine because, you know, he's holding cra cradling them. But at that rate of fall and impact, I don't care what you're in, your brain is going to go mush against your skull. Your organs are going to... I mean, you're dead. No question there. You're, you're a dead person. But no, they're fine. There's no logic. Um, I didn't. I did not like the fact that the lockdown ship had dark matter on it. I mean, that's totally rip off of the new Star Trek reboots. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm sure it's been used in fiction before, but I mean, you can't just say, oh, "Okay, we're going to warp or light speed or something like that." You had to go. Oh, we have to warm up the dark matter. And everybody's making a big deal out of the lockdown ship. And it's like, I don't give a fuck about the ship. Who cares? At the end, you see the humans tearing it apart with the with the uh, fighter jets. Just blowing holes in it. Yeah, and... You know, some people are making a big deal like, Okay, it, it, it's great to see the uh, Chinese government, you know, taking care of this... You know, help them take care of the situation. I didn't see that happen. I mean, yeah, at the very end, you see the fighter jets in the background shooting down the spaceship. And it's like, one, how come nobody else on that spaceship could fly away? Are they just like, okay, well, lockdown's dead. We're, we're going to just go down with him. There's so many other things I could say about this um, catastrophe of cinematography, um, but it, it's it's an insult to Transformers fan. I feel you guys might think differently, but I feel this movie was an insult to Transformers fans. It was an insult to Galvatron fans. It was a major insult to Dinobot fans. It was insult to people that just like movies, and it was insult to just 
every other thing that breathes on this planet. I think that's a good rating. Insult to everything. Michael Bay, you are officially on my list. <laughs> it, it, just never let me find you in a dark alley after this one, because I will do horrible things to you. This is, I don't want to sound like a threat, but seriously, dude, this, this, this is that bad. I mean, it is that bad. I'm legitimately mad. Uh, I'm disappointed. And like I said, I feel like part of my childhood died tonight. That's that's the other best way to describe this movie. It, it kills a part of you that's like, I love Transformers. So any of those casual Transformers fan, if you watch this movie, you will never want to watch another Transformers. As it is, I will never watch another Transformers movie with Michael Bay at the helm in theaters. Until they go back to the original lineup, you know, original cartoon-drawn Transformers, or, or maybe like War for Cybertron style. Something like that. It, it, until somebody else entirely is behind the helm of this. No. I will not watch this in movie theaters ever again. I, I am just beyond... Just, it is... I, yeah, so what did you guys think of the movie? Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Did you? Uh, is Michael Bay on your list now? Because <laughs> he's on mine. Oh. 